freezing weather has caused chaos across the U.S. with record low temperatures and historic amounts of snow. President Donald Trump repeatedly uses cold weather to argue that global warming isn't happening. It's supposed to be 70 degrees today. It's freezing here. Speaking of global warming, where is we need some global warming? And has previously dismissed global warming as a hoax. So Obama is talking about all of this with the global warming and that and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money making industry. OK, but what is the difference between weather and climate? Weather is what you're experiencing now, so you could be outside and it's cold and it's windy or it's raining and that's the weather you're experiencing at this moment in time. Climate is something quite different. Climate is an underlying trend that's going on, demonstrated over the last 150 years. Just because it's warmer on average across the globe, it doesn't mean to say it's warmer everywhere in equal amounts. So what has caused freezing weather in the US? Well, we get cold weather for various reasons, but at the moment there's a, a big variation in the jet stream, which is called the blocking high, which makes over the continent very, very cold weather. The jet stream can meander around the globe and it can produce warm weather in some places and cold weather in other places, and it just so happens at the moment it's stuck with cold air over the US. Despite the evidence, Trump is not the only person to say cold weather disproves climate change. So, Chris, where's all the global warming? It tends to be hiding, particularly at times like this. Talk about global warming. It is our nation. The president The president goes on. Our real challenge is not ISIS. It's not terrorists. It is global warming. There has been no significant warming whatsoever for 17 years. Go to Boston, Mr. President. We keep hearing that 2014 has been the warmest year on record. So here, Mr. President, catch this. It's clearly aimed at undermining the arguments for acting on climate change. Of course, people who want to believe that will be reassured and, and pleased that they can repeat his tweets and say, there you are then. It's factually um, incorrect and, and based on arguments that are quite flawed.